My name is Melike Kilic. In this video, I'll be sharing my final project for Flatiron. I've used Ruby on Rails for the backend and React for the frontend. The very first thing a user will see is the login and sign up page. Clicking on the right side, the user is able to change the form. Let's go ahead and sign up. After a user has signed up, they'll see a US map and some data on the right side. When they hover over the state they want to get more information about, they'll see confirmed cases, negative cases, death, recovered, and last updates. They can also click on the info windows for detailed information about that specific state. When they do so, they'll see data quality grade which shows how reliable the data is, mortality increase, cumulative hospitalizations, currently hospitalized, hospitalization increase, confirmed cases increase, negative cases increase, total test results, total test results increase, and last updated ads. The user can choose to view daily information, current information, hospitals around the US and about. Now I'll go ahead and click on US Daily. In this page, the user will see two charts, mortality rate and confirmed cases and total test results. In the first chart, X axis represents the date, where Y axis represents the death numbers. In the second chart, X axis is for the confirmed cases, whereas Y axis is for the total test results. By mousing over, the user can see specific data about both. Now let's see the current data in the US. In this pie chart, hospitalized, death, confirmed cases and recovered informations are provided. The user can view the numbers by hovering. Let's go ahead and see hospital functionality of this app. Hospitals play a crucial role in managing the epidemic. On this page, the user can type any location. <clears throat> when they do so, the map will zoom in. Let's type New Orleans. <clears throat> when I click on New Orleans, it will take me to New Orleans and I can see the hospitals in New Orleans. Each marker represents a hospital and they are clickable. Once the user clicks on one of them, an info box will pop up and it will show the user detailed information about each hospital. The last thing that I want to show you is the about part in the navbar. In this section, I'm explaining briefly why I wanted to create this app as my capstone project for Flatiron, and I have a quote from one of my blogs that I've written for Flatiron. That's it for my app, but I also want to show you how you can log in with the same account that uh, you can just that you have just created. Let me correct it. As you can see, the authentication works and you can log in with the account that you have created. That was it from me. Thank you for watching the video.